Hey guys, Bradley Washer here, and I wanted to show you a very useful thing that a lot of people overlook inside of Unreal Engine when it comes to previewing your meshes and your materials. And that is this very nifty little option right here under Window. And we're, just for everyone's knowledge, we're in the Material Editor right now. I'll show you a couple other places you can access this. We go to Window, we go to Preview Scene Settings. You'll notice it'll load up down here. And what is this? So what it is, is when you look at the preview around your environment, we can see a floor, we can see an HDRI, we're getting some lighting information. Well, what if our project looks significantly different? Or we just wanna test our um, assets and materials against a better standard for what we're working on. Maybe a more stylized game, maybe a darker game, maybe with like a desert environment or something like that. Well, this is how we control it. So off the bat, a couple things we can do. The default settings you can hear, see here, we can use a skylight, turn it on and off. We can change the intensity of that light. We can do a bunch of different things in terms of its color, um, the skylight intensity. These are things that we don't know and don't think about, but in our scene, we might have a directional intensity of 10, um, but in our preview window, it's set to one, and we, we might be asking ourselves, well, why does it look so different? And it's because uh, we don't have a kind of a common language between our material editor preview and what we're actually doing in our projects. Um, you'll also notice we have access to turning off the environment, turning off the floor. These are really great if we just wanna get a better idea. You can see, obviously, this material is not very good for this because it's very close to the background color. But at the same time, sometimes you just wanna get a better read on um, something that maybe you need to see at the bottom. We have access to the HDRI here, which we can change out. So we can change just like a desert. Something else, we get we pick up all those colors and tones from it, so we can really see better how this object and material might fit into our world. The other thing is we can see that we have post-process here. This is another thing we can turn off. This is in addition to the other post-process stack in your project. You can see it sometimes you're definitely getting um, kind of like a, an adaptive eye uh, system going on here where it kind of uh, feeds up and down at times. So it's just something to see. You'll notice that this is fading up over time. So there's definitely some post-process going on um, even if we disable this. The other thing is um, you can save these as different profiles. So um, I can make one called uh, test. Um, we can basically uh, share this profile. It'll just make so it'll make it so that other people um, on other machines, if you're working uh, on a bigger team, can have access to them. Um, and then what we want to do is once we have it named, we click Add Profile in this little button right here. And then when we open up this little drop down, you can see all the uh, different profiles that I've made. Um, and then we can see, and so we can kind of cycle between them. So we can always get back to our default one. Uh, we can have additional ones for testing against. But what's cool about this is it's not only in the material editor here, it's also, boop, everywhere. So if you have a skeletal mesh, you can notice at a glance that it's actually using the same settings as our uh, material over here. And you might be asking, well, how do we know that for sure? Well, if we go to window, just the same, preview scene settings, it's gonna get docked. Mine got docked over here on the side. But what you'll notice is that uh, we can do the same thing. We have our settings, this is set to test shared, which is the one we just made. If it wasn't, we can switch the profile, see what it looks like in different scenarios. And we can set up a better example to preview our skeletal meshes and our static meshes. And again, just to show you it works, this is a material mesh, mesh uh, blech. This is a material instance, not a mesh instance. And so you can see that it's also working in here. The same, go to window and to preview scene settings. So we would be able to at the bottom, kind of hard to notice, but you can change it out from there and come back. So hopefully this helps you guys uh, get a better look dev for your materials and meshes inside of Unreal Engine. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and I'll be making some more stuff in the future. Thanks.